hey guys welcome back to another video so after a long time i am back here so today i am going to talk about how you can use the prime ng in your angular so based on your requirement like uh, for example if you are looking for good ui look and feel angular is already angular material is already it is having a look and feel but apart from that if you want some other template so you can use a prime ng so prime mg before going for that one so i am going to explain like what was the previous video in the previous video i have told about firebase how to do a configuration then i have shown how to do as a insert delete and uh, get your data from the firebase so these things already i have told so the next plan is for the next video as as i done the uh, prime ng configuration in your component like in your project so then i will go for the ui side so how you can do as a insert and update so it will be the complete crud operation so for that reason we will go first uh, prime ng how to do as a setup so in this video i'll explain one by one so first i will show you the component how the prime ng is looks like for example if i'll go for the calendar so here you can see the calendar looks like this similarly the checkbox it looks like this so it you can customize your color as well there is no issue so it's having a all the things you can do as a with the help of simple uh, syntax only so this is the drop down how it looks so different different drop down is there and there is a many ways to uh, do this one for example now they are using a tag instead of tag you can use the class as well so it's gonna work and if you are not using a class directly if you'll use that syntax so it's gonna work so i will tell you one by one everything so this is how so based on this one and i will show you if you have not gone through this one please go ahead and go through this uh, a website once how it looks like for example terminal how it will have a for example what they are saying type as a date now what is saying enter the date to display the current date get zero message random any number so it will looks like this and tags also it is there so here the tag is progress bar also you can use progress bar is like this spanner is like this so these are all you can customize so let's come and first we will do the configuration like setup so first what you have to do here is i will go through these terminals first you have to install npm install prime ng so already it is there if i'll go to get start installation so this is the command where you have to install it so i will do as a copy and i will go for the command prompt So let me run this it will take some time so after that you have to install this one npm install prime ng prime icons for example if you are looking for some icons so it's not gonna work right so for example i will show you the icons so here this is the command okay either you can type this one or you can type this one okay so if you want the prime ng icons you can utilize so all the icons is here only so here you can see so we will do both together at a time so it will not like we will do one second for this one again right so we'll reduce the time so let's come to the code it's already got installed if i'll go to the package dot json prime ng 16.70 is there and let's already prime icons is there so let me reinstall it if you are getting a uh, comparison difficulties in your uh, what is that like uh, version mismatch you go through the documents you will get which version you have to do and based on my angular capability like uh, 16 i am using so based on that th this is the supported one 
after having this installation what you have to do the next is in the style.css you have to import these all are for example if I'll go to the top here they are saying to import to work as an icon you have to do as an import of this one and to work the component you have to do this as an import these two so this is the resource of prime uh, CSS prime ng and this is the theme color what theme color you want okay so these two and the for the icons you have to import this one so already I have uh, added those so let's copy this so I am using my preferred one as a theme so that's the reason I did a copy of it so I am using a Nova accent okay so that will be fine so already after doing this one now the main part here is we will do as a prime ng globally okay so that will be like I, I will show you and what I will do end of the video in some place I will try to add this all are okay if it is not there so you can go through this and in this way for example in this component you want the auto complete so here you will get the import as well okay so this one you can do in your app component manually so that will also work if you want to make as a global so you don't want to make as a complicate in the app dot component you can create a separate module for that one so uh, module will have a like this so the constant you have to put this module and that ng module you have to declare like this after having a import you have to export as well so it's gonna work and this prime ng you have to import in the app dot component app dot module okay so let's import anywhere yeah it's done any error is there no so now it is fine so finally we did the complete setup okay so like what and all the requirement was after doing a installation okay so now I will come to the code uh, sorry in the website and where I will just use this one okay as a calendar I will do as a copy of this and I will go to the code so already my project is running over here so I will try to add some field here okay so let me try that one so I will add in the login component itself let me add one class okay inside this one I will do as a paste of this okay so we have to add date I will take from date only so I have checked the undefined uh, condition as well so now come to the browser So here you can see this is the calendar where it is coming from prime ng so here you can see the differences this is the text box of bootstrap which I have used and this is the prime ng field like input field so how it looks so this is the calendar and similarly if I'll go for the checkbox I will take they are checking something right so I will take this one ng model they are checking so I will remove this these are not needed but still just I need the checkbox So here you can see the checkboxes 
so it is looks like this so similarly if you want the different color so you can change the color as well so this color theme you have to change so now i am using a css already i have imported in the style.css here you can see i am using a nova accent so this will have a custom color so that's gonna be uh, imported if you want the different one so i will come to the this place theming is there right if you do as a scroll down so here all the imports is there which one you want you can select it for example i will take the this one i'll copy this come back i will remove this import and i will replace it okay let's see so now here you can see your input fields is looks like this and your background color of that calendar is like this so based on your requirement you can set those and see the checkboxes color looks like this similarly this is having a different different uh, look and feel you can customize your own and for example i will tell you one more thing there is another way so now here i am using a tag right so what i will do this input i will copy it let it be i will type it thinking is for example what is that syntax p input will be there one second p input text it should be so this input we want right so what i will do i will just copy this and i will paste this one let's see so here you can see this is the input correct right this is the input field if you will type something it is already there here you can see because of the themes the color is getting invisible so you can customize those so i will i will just show you in the inspect element so here you can see the p input text area so this one you can customize and that will be here see p input text area right background color is this one if i'll remove this background color here you can see so based on your requirement you can check it out for example let me change the color of it as a red so this is how it will work color you can customize your own if you want see so I think you have understand the requirement and hopefully you will continue the other things as well similarly if you will do as if you'll go one by one there is a many good look and feel in this one okay menu if you want like this menu you can choose and if you'll go for the menu bar it's having a like this so these all if you want to utilize you can do it so just if you'll use a menu bar so this gonna work and if you'll go for the source code type script also will have so in this case th these are the this item so why they have done and the, in the prime ng you can use your label icon in the ts as well okay so how they are working here is for example this is the file icon right if you'll go to the file options here they are using the icon of plus right and here you can see this is a bookmark video inside that one if i will click on that here you can see export is there if i will go this one bookmark they have added and then video this is the parent and this is the child of it correct similarly they have used this is the new icon new as a label here you can see new then bookmark correct before of it what is that file so here you can see file 
file this is the file icon then it is the new this is the parent and this is the child of and child of having a two child item similarly they have used in the uh, ts so this dot item item they are binding in the html so this is the model it's gonna bind all the data so if you use the simple uh, p menu it will come like this i will show you So just assume that the item let me add the item as well nothing you have to do just what you have to do in the constructor you just add this I'll come to the code and I will add inside the constructor where that is started here only right okay ng on it is there right I will add here and this dot item we have to import it from the menu component here already it is mentioned I will show you this will get imported from prime ng only Here you can see this is the prime ng api so it will have a here all the data fetching from the header whatever the header it is having the values so just wait a moment it is already came why it is looks like this because i have used in the same div so that's the reason it is coming like this so what i will do i will cut this one i'll paste in the down now it will have a complete width here you can see so again this width is making a problem if you want to see the complete width i can show you just i have to remove that container width where that is hmm. so this is how it's it will look like this okay so if i click on this it will come like this if it is having a sub so this again this a tag having a this blue color right this one you can customize like why this hyperlink is coming so you can set as a none something like that for the border anchor tag correct so this is how it, it will work and you can see many things here and similarly it is having some other chart also you can use charts.js and it is having like this chart and gallery also you can use and i feel uh, this is having a good look and feel you can use in your project if you want okay and if you have any problem to while doing a configuration let me know and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it so i will come with the different different videos in the next video i will show you in the see here also it is having a dialog box okay so this is different from your angular component i will show you that open your dialog box here we are having a dialog right so this is how it will work so for example click on this this dialog is getting open right so how this is working so usually in our code like uh, angular material it will have a different logic to open your dialog right but for the prime ng it is having a different way and that i can explain you while uh, doing as a cred operation in the next video Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.